In this video, we're going to learn how to count the number of space characters in a string using C. So if we declare a car array called string, we can store into this car array the string live life to the fullest. And in this string, we have one, two, three, four space characters. Now, we're not going to count other white space characters, like for example, the new line character backslash n, or the tab character backslash t. We're only going to count actual space characters like this. Now to solve this problem, we're going to loop through the string one index at a time, from the first index in the string up until the last index in the string. And each time, we're going to check to see if the character at that index is a space character or not. If the character is a space character, we're going to increment a running count of the number of space characters in the string. So we need to know the number of characters in the string. To do this, we'll use the string length function strlen inside the string.h library. So we'll include that library here. Then down here, we'll declare a variable of type int called length, and we'll assign to this variable the return value of calling the strlen function and passing it our string. So length is going to store the number of characters in our string not including the special null terminator character at the end of the string. So the indexes of the string are going to be zero, then one, then two, then three, all the way up to the last index in the string, which is going to be length minus one, where this lowercase t character is here. What we'll do is make a for loop with a counter variable i that's going to go through each one of these indexes. So we'll have four int i is equal to zero, and i is less than length, and i++. So this counter variable i is going to begin at zero, which is the index of the first character in the string. Then in the next loop iteration, i is going to be incremented by one, and i will now be one, which is the index of the next character in the string. Then again, in the next loop iteration, i will be incremented by one, and i will now be two, which is the index of the next character in the string. And this will continue so long as i is less than length, which will be true at this point here when i is equal to length minus one, because length minus one is less than length. But after this last character here, when i is again incremented, i will then be equal to length. And at that point, the loop is going to stop because i will no longer be less than length. And what we can do is use i to check if each character in the string is a space character or not. We can have an if statement here with if the character in the string at the index i is equal to the space character, then we're going to increment a running count of the number of space characters in the string. We can declare a variable of type int called count, and we could initialize this variable with zero because initially we haven't counted any space characters yet. Then when we go through this loop, every time we do encounter a space character, we'll increment count by one with count plus plus. So by the time this loop is done running, we'll have counted all these space characters in the string, and we can then output that count. We'll have here printf, and we'll have total space characters, colon, and then percent %d to output an int value, followed by backslash n for a new line, and we'll output the count here. Then if we save, compile, and run the program, we'll get a total space characters count of four, which is correct. Now, one more thing we could do is put this logic inside a function. So that way we could call the function at different points in our source code to count the number of space characters in a string. Let's do that. Up here, we'll declare a function. The function is going to return an int, the number of space characters in the string. We'll call the function count spaces and the function will accept a string as an argument. So we'll have here car star string, which is effectively a parameter to accept a string as an argument. We'll copy this and paste it down here. And then we'll cut and paste our logic from the main function inside this function. So up here, we'll grab our logic and cut it. Then we'll paste it into the function. And the only thing we're gonna do is return the count. So we're gonna have return count here to return the actual count. Then up here, we'll call the function. 
So now we'll call count spaces and we'll pass it our string and we'll store the return count value into a variable of type int called count. Then if we save compile and run the program, we'll again get a total count of four space characters, which is correct. So this is how we can count the total number of space characters in a string using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.